Nobody knows why firemen are firemen. Not even they could tell you why. But it is time somebody tried. Firefighting is the most risky of all dead-end jobs, yet also the one where most workers are most likely to punch in early. It's hard enough to believe that. It's impossible to explain it. Fire and ice are uncomfortable separately or together. Wives hate the hours. Kids love the noise. Fire and ice. Any day at the firehouse, the bell from hell puts the dispatcher on the horn with a tenement tinderbox address into bunker pants, rubber turnout coat, grab the mask and go. Minutes later, you're on site. As others run out, you go in. You'll need all you can carry. The four-pound axe, a six-foot hook, the Halligan pry bar. The ceiling concealing the smoldering has to come down, and it's one of those stubborn tin ones. In the scary dark with heat eating your ears, you are gouging out and tearing loose and pulling apart, gulping air and tasting black. Your windpipe is closing, and you've lost track of which way is out. Is it really worth it? Then there's that night another engine company gets there first. You see this wet-eared rookie hot-dogging ahead. His academy boots are still shiny. You lose him inside the crackling dark. You forget about him until your helmet warning bell says, get out. The battalion chief is calling you off. You get out. The other guy didn't. That day, we lost two. Oh, yes. Firemen cry, but only briefly. The intercom barks again. This time it's a warehouse, a big, fat, multiple blaze, probably torched. On-site engine men draped with icicles, dragging a three-quarter pre-connect rose hose, are waiting for your big line. Laddermen can't make the building without you. Search, rescue, ventilate. Behind graffiti-fouled walls, you saved what you could. But the raging blaze that wanted to consume adjacent buildings did not, because you were there. Back at the firehouse before cleanup, you and the guys sit a spell, tired but stimulated, drinking coffee, laughing, feeling good about one another. Nobody outside your world can ever know this feeling. And you're doubting even God knows why. You're out of the shower now. Most of the grime and some of the cynicism are down the drain. When you hear a strangely familiar voice saying, it is worth it. It is worth it. And you're hearing this voice and there's nobody there but you. It's a quiet voice from nowhere saying, for salvaging things, and people from flames, I have to rely on your hands. <laughs>